real bro. You call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? I love an intro. Time to go meet the new client. It reminds me of a certain cyborg. I don't know why. Hmm. Man looks pissed. Jesus, criminy. Wise, are you there yet? What's the situation? I mean, it's definitely someone from Bellabog. Suspicious guy There's talking a suspicious to himself. Suspicious guy talking to himself. You literally just saw him on TV. That brawny guy ahead. What's he saying? Bro. <sighs> Without my bro around, I don't know if I can do this. No, 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 no. There's only one word in a bro's dictionary. Determination. Oh, shit. He knows bro code. Oh, <laughs> that makes for a very thin dictionary. Look, we don't judge bro code around here. Uh, whatever. They'll be here soon. Then I go for it. If my bro were here, he'd say the same. Yeah, bro. This guy is really shady. You just saw him on TV. Searching for suspicious person and talking to oneself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor. Oh, very poor time to drink coffee. Master, oh, man. The above keywords are somewhat similar to the movie plot of videotape 16 5 on shelf 3, section H. As a video store owner, he probably literally knows the movie she's referring to. Section H? The one with all those thrillers I don't like from the old civilization? And why is this too scared to watch them? Uh -huh. Movie title Frightful Fracture, Treacherous Dawn. It tells the story of a criminal with multiple personalities who lures his victims under the guise of asking for help. You, myself, and I? Each time a victim falls into the trap, the villain utters his famous line in a cheerful tone. Yo, found you! <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> scream out loud. I'll spare you the scream. I must say, your cheery greeting really caught me off guard. Oh, I thought for sure we were going to hear Watts scream. Sorry about that. I probably should have waited until you got off the phone. You're Faithin, right? Huh? Wise, this guy looks familiar. Wasn't he a guest on Bang Boon Nose yesterday? Anton from Bellabog Industries. Yeah, thank you, Bell. That's right. I'm Anton. Wait, from how'd Bellabog. you hear that? Since you've already recognized me, I'm going to make this simple. Faithin, I know it's not common practice to ask to meet in person. Like I said in my message, it's life and death for the company. And because of how serious a matter this is, we can't reveal our identity to outsiders. So we thought it'd be best to meet up in person. This way, we can ensure things stay confidential on both ends. I hope you understand. I see. I see. That makes sense. But before we get to the commission, can you explain how you knew our anonymous internet account was actually ours? <laughs> Sorry, I can't reveal that. But our source of information assured us the account was run by the famous proxy Faithin. Oh, uh, guy, yeah, you're a little loud. Notch proxy with outstanding ability and ethics. A little loud. Nicole complimented us like that. I'm flattered. <laughs> you're too modest. The cunning hair is highly recommended. Oh, we just. Bell just fucking roasted uh, you. Wait. <laughs> did you know it was the cunning hairs who introduced us? <laughs> I knew it was Nicole who gave us away. Damn it, Nicole. <laughs> of course she wouldn't let you tell us it was her. She doesn't want us to know she's getting something out of it. Anyway, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Anton, what exactly does Bellabog want our help with? You agree to accept the commission? <laughs> right on. Oh, jeez. Follow me. I'll take you to our construction site. Our president will explain the commission details once we get there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, right now? No. Don't you think 5 a.m. is a bit early? <laughs> no, dude, it's construction. We start all the time. Actually, I've been meaning to ask you why you chose this time for our meeting. Uh, it's too early for you? Anyone working construction has already started their shift at this hour. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, no, nah, we're, like, the game is on. If we're going on a field trip, we need to get prepared. Why don't you go wait with my brother over by the parking lot? He can drive you to the site later. Sure. Thanks for the lift, then. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, bro. Best of friendo. My god. The hell are you? You're just a little person. There's so many freaking NPCs. My goodness gracious. 
I still haven't messed with the time of day shit either in this. Mew Mew, no, quit dancing over there. I don't need you right now. What is this? This thing keeps, but is it just like a box? I, I just don't know. I see it every time I go in and out of the store and it bugs me. And then this, I don't know what this is. Hmm. Oh, you're literally right there, okay. Uh, it's been empty for a while. We just recently started using it. Shall we go now, Proxy? Ready when you are. Branch Street construction site, maintenance area. Chapter two, a call from the hollow's heart. <laughs> All right, bro. Oh, cutscene. We're almost there. Her president is just ahead. She may what be the younger, fuck? She's a real beast. Jesus so Christ. It's okay if you're nervous. I think you're supposed to say, don't be nervous. I've never seen wise in this cut. Oh, 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 my God. Stay back. Uh, Anton, what are you? <gasps> are you? What have you done now? Oh, it's you, Anton. Diagnostics almost done. Just stay oh, like that. I'm don't so move. happy to see you, Grace. I mean, don't oh, know. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall plugin. It won't hurt. Um. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Also, it just dawned on me. I've never seen this cutscene with Wise. I've only Sorry, seen this cutscene like in trailers with Bell. Damn, Ben. Real beast, huh? This is Bellabog's leader? Oh. Hello. Oh, hello there, Mr. Proxy. Oh. Sorry you had to see something like this so soon after getting here. He's a sweetheart. The president has been waiting for you. Please. Huh? You're not the president? What are you doing, Grace? Put me down. Bring that little feisty thing over here. Introduce our president. <laughs> what is this setup? What is this setup? <laughs> What a bunch of fucking clowns. Hello, <laughs> Sorry to have you witness the chaos just there. Oh, beautiful. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. Anyway. I got the call from Anton <laughs> earlier. Everyone is so relieved to hear an excellent proxy like you is here to help. Anton might have already mentioned our company has taken over the Metro project, but it's not going particularly well because enemies keep getting in the way. Enemies? Uh, President, do you really think we should refer to them as enemies in front of Mr. Proxy? Oh, that made it way more confusing, what? Huh? Ben, you're too soft. Those crooks have done so many rotten things that were well beyond being polite. Besides, the Proxy already accepted our commission, which makes them one of us. We don't need to keep secrets. Tell me more about this enemy. Can you tell me more about the enemies? This may be of some help in my proxy work later on. You see, we're considered an up-and-coming manufacturing and construction company that's climbing the ranks in the industry. Thanks to that, we won the rights to the Metro Renovation Project. But since we won the bid, we've become a thorn in the sides of many established companies. They'd like to see us run into trouble and lose the project so they can take it over. Mm-hmm. And first, these companies convinced the banks not to give us low-interest loans. Then Ooh. they sent thugs to the site to cause trouble before trying to block our construction and fire code permits. And there was that stunt they pulled on TV. Jeez Louise. As if all that wasn't bad enough, during all this scrutiny, there was an accident on the construction site. <laughs> you mean the shit that you just did right now? Last week, three kids went missing in a hollow. Oh, the hollow that popped up. Easy there, Grace. You're gonna give our guests the wrong idea. Nah, I literally saved them. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Proxy, have you heard of our company's self-developed heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use? I sure have. I have indeed. Is 
that what you meant by missing? Oh, Grace calls robots kids. Oh my god. That gave me the wrong impression entirely. Exactly. Our competitive edge comes from smart machines that can operate safely in the hollows for extended periods. Not only can they She looks so proud. They're also highly intelligent and can work autonomously according to the situation within a hollow. They're even equipped with specially designed language modules allowing them to talk. She looks so smug. I've always taken care of them. And I'm the one who improved upon the prototype so they'd be fit for specific jobs. I'm responsible for the routine maintenance and upgrades as well. They're like my children. That's great. You should come to my Caldea. But a few days ago, after updating their logic course, three of them ignored my orders and went deeper into the hollow while working. They still haven't come back. Ooh, we gonna fight like corrupted construction equipment? Were they corrupted by ether? We still don't know the cause. Both microchip failure and ether corruption are nothing new for companies operating in the hollows. But when things go wrong involving Bellbog Industries, people are gonna talk. Yep. The machines were working fine before. This update was totally unnecessary. If you hadn't uploaded the code he left behind into the logic cores, none of this would have happened. He left behind? Now wait a minute, Sweet Pea. We aren't sure Sweet the core, right? Besides, beautiful and powerful machines deserve a matching soul. Oh God, nope. Everyone, any every simp in the chat, look away. You can't fix her. You can't do it. Don't don't waste your time. As the president of a smart machinery development company, don't you agree? Look at the evil in those eyes. Not these eyes. These eyes. It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. Putting aside the issue with our enemies, these smart machines cost a fortune. I can't allow the loss of such expensive company property. I was going to make the same eye joke with Coleta, but then I realized she only has one eye. Proxy, we like to commission you to lead us deep into the hollow and retrieve the three machines that got lost. Thank God we know what the fuck the mission is. That took way too long. Oh, she's set up like a bear. That's why she has bears. Sorry, that really distracted me. We already have the rough location of two of them. If there's anything more you want to know, you can ask either Grace or Anton. Grace or Anton. Seems like I can talk to literally all of you. Uh, learn more about it. Hey, bro. That's the friendo. Who's this just random dude? In fucking sandals and socks on a construct? Never mind. Hey, Proxy. I just located one of the missing machineries, bro. A heavy duty grappler. Shall we set off now? Or do you have another question for me? Uh, about the bro you mentioned. Oh, you saw me talking to myself on the side of the road. I'm gonna introduce to you my bro. My J. <laughs> what was I expecting? Oh, what was I expecting? Oh no. If we're headed to the hollow later, we need Grace's help to adjust it and get into the best condition. So that's your bro. It works alongside me every day, so of course it's my bro. And for someone like me who isn't much of a thinker, my bro is Chris. <laughs> no, please. Oh, he's a treasure. He has like Sasuke hair where like the person in Photoshop accidentally scaled the hair parts up, but it's still funny. Oh, God. I wanted to make a good impression, so I left it behind when I went to see you this morning, but then I felt really awkward without it. Ah, old habits are hard to break, huh? Anyway, I'm all set here. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. We're all on the same team. I like this guy. Sure, keep asking. What do we got? What else would you like to know? What do you do at Bellabog? You can see the president's in charge of the people. Ben's in charge of the finances. Grace deals with the tech. And I guess I'm mostly on construction site. Uh, I should think. Sometimes I gotta schmooze or dress up for negotiations. You know what someone once told me. There are no tough jobs, but just brave folks. That always cheers me up. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Am I imagining that? Uh, why did Bellabog go on a children's program? You must see it too, right, Proxy? For such a show to invite us on, they couldn't have good intentions. But Ben said we'd look even worse if we refused, so we had to accept. We all decided to let the president go on at first, but then the program said we invite guests onto a children's program, not children on as guests. That's funny. Good thing she didn't go in the end. That stupid host, ju uh, he just had to bring up that incident. 
Ahem, but that's all in the past, Proxy. We got this new project based on our merits alone, and we'll definitely deliver. Everyone has a past that they don't want to talk about, though, right? Even you guys change in and out accounts after certain events. Don't worry, I won't ask for details. Maybe another time. Confirm that one, and then let's talk to the lovely Grace. All right, Legion. Legion. Oh, let's walk over here for a sec. All right. Can't zoom in for some reason. Hold up. Can, can I? I need. Is there like a place I can get the camera to zoom in? Okay, yeah, this will work. All right, guys. Look. I know. It's Grace. It's the Grace. I need you guys to behave yourselves, right? Don't make me look bad in front of Bellabog. Okay? Keep it together, right? No simps. We are the Legion. We are unsimpable. Okay? She's looking this way. Look, I know she's pretty. Look, so is Kaleda. So is Anton. So is Ben. Ben's so polite. Like, just keep it together, guys. Okay? Chill. Chill. Remember, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Keep it together, all right? Now, take a deep breath, stretch, roll your shoulders, crack the neck. If you can't crack your neck, don't worry, just pretend. All right, let's do this. Miss Grace, how are you? Oh, Proxy, did Sweet Pea send you to ask about the commission details? I've located the approximate position of a heavy, boring machine. If you're ready, we could set off now. Uh, you've been a big help. You're welcome. By the way, Proxy, I heard you can sync with your bang boo. How, my god... Nicole, what did you fucking tell these people? What modifications did you make? How did you get around the Marcel Group's exclusive proto or exclusivity protocols? Wait, what modifications did you make? How did you get around the Marcel Group's exclusivity protocols? How does it feel having your consciousness inside a bang boo? The mapping of the neural network. Ah, sorry, I almost forgot that I should be the one answering the questions. Anyway, if there's ever a chance, please let me study your little bang boo in the future. You know, we'll, we'll put a pin in that one. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I, uh, you should agree to that. Send me the stats for the boring machine shortly. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I do have more questions, Miss Grace. Is there anything else you want to know? Yes, yeah, sweet pea. That's right, our fun-sized real blast, as Anton calls her. And all of Bellabog, she only allows me to call her by that nickname. Well, they're like sisters. She'd go kicking and screaming before she'd admit to letting me call her that, of course. But I'm not giving up until she's taller than me can't turn the mouse camera. I want to compare heights. I know. Nope. Not gonna, nope, not gonna make that joke. Okay. Um, but don't underestimate her just because of her appearance. Everyone at Bellabog respects her as the company president. If I have to mention one thing I'm not entirely happy with, it would be that Sweet Pea isn't enthusiastic enough about smart machinery. How did this happen? She was so fascinated by mechanics when she was a child. Oh, she knew her like a long time ago. Interesting. Ask about our responsibilities. My job is the development and advancement of heavy-duty smart construction machines for in-hollow use. There was some important-sounding title on the business card Ben got me. I can't remember. Oh, well, it sounded important. Yeah, I was going to say, she's probably not out and about talking to people. Uh, I'm just very content to be able to study those adorable children at the company and watch them grow. Uh, speaking of our little ones, thanks to Bellabog's special tech, not only can we easily locate them, they can also transmit information to each other in the hollows. Oh, that's... scary. Also, Bellabog got the green light to operate in the hollows. And the kids are all equipped with carrot data. If they hadn't strayed so far into the hollow and out of scope of the carrot, they could have found their own way back. Wow, that's crazy. Give a robot carrot data and it can come back out? Oh my god. That would save a lot of time and effort and like some logical thinking. Uh, ah yes, the children have the same version of the logic core installed, but their personalities are somewhat different. There are a few partially smart children who can recite the times tables. Wow. Sorry, I got distracted. God damn. Anyways, end conversation. Get us out of here. I'll count on you in the hollow later. The kids must be very scared right now in the chaotic and dangerous hollow. We must be sure to comfort them once we find them. I don't know, Grace. The last kid you brought up to us uh, literally almost murdered us if fucking Anton wasn't as strong as Kratos catching that fucking thing. I do, I will say, something that caught me in the cutscene was when the robot fell backwards, I like how Anton uh, prioritized leaving the robot alone and catching Grace. Oh shit, the robot's right there. I didn't mean to talk shit about you, man. Look, uh, I'm gonna hide behind Ben. Honestly, I know Grace is capable, but hasn't she been getting a little carried away lately? 
Does a floor sweeper really need voice activated cooking functions? <laughs> Who wants to cook an egg while cleaning the floor? Yeah, true. And do intelligent machines need to be taught how to sing? She swore it wouldn't affect their work, but within a week, the construction site was as lively as a dance club. The code that guy left behind. I told her if she wants to study it, that's fine, but why does it have to be added to the company products? There are two company products. So why does it have to be added to company products? That code is also considered a company asset, after all. Grace just wants to put it to good use. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, President. I spoke out of turn. Oh, Proxy, you're here. Have you spoken to Grace and Anton? I have. Then you should know a little more about our company and intelligent machines. The three smart machines that went missing are the Boring Machine, a heavy duty Grappler, and a Pile Driver. The Boring Machine and heavy duty Grappler have been found, but the Pile Driver went further away. So finding it will take some time, and we might need your help. Uh, let's head out and get those two machines back. With those two, we can catch up on the progress we lost this week. Well, shit. Everyone's back at work. My goodness, can I talk to you guys? How was my performance just now? I believe you perfectly represented Billabog Industries' corporate image. What's the proxy's face like? Did I just leave a strong impression? I don't want to be underestimated in front of important partners. That was my Oh, no, same thing. Okay. Uh, Miss Grace. Good kid. Look at my fingers. How many is this? This reaction. Did you bump your head just now? Maybe we should open it up and take a look inside. Back normal immediately. What are I'm so scared. Oh my god. If evil, why? Oh god. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Business card. Back to random play. Oh, good to be back home. Oh, yawn. Sheesh. Hello. Oh, we're just getting right to it. Okay, shit. To the store. Master, two new commissions from Bellabog Industries have been updated. The clients are Anton Ivanov and Grace Howard. The reward processing account is prepared. Oh wait, the reward processing account is prepared and awaiting completion of the commissions. Good luck. All right, let's fucking go. Let's go, bro. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, absolutely. I've played and actually, I've played all of these characters before. It's been a while, though. I'm not gonna remember how to do this at all. Roxy, according to the signal, seems like the grappler we're looking for is somewhere in this hollow. Mm. It's outside the construction site and we don't have a carrot, so we'll be relying on you to find it. I'll make sure your commission fee is well spent. Finding things in the hollow is my specialty. Search operations in hollows are Faithen's specialty. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Anyway. Let me tell you about the grappler first. It grapples things. The grappler was responsible for transporting on-site waste before it went missing. It spent its days going from point A to point B, and it's real quick. We really can't do without it. Mm hmm. Hmm. What's wrong, Ben? Oh, nothing. Listening to you just reminded me of an old story. He just pulls a shank, starts rubbing the scar on his eye. This scar hurts the most right now. <laughs> oh, is it a story about fearless bros? <gasps> fearless bro stories? Uh, the main character is a man, but it's hard to say whether he's fearless or not. Oh, his eyes are like so- his eye, oof, is so soft. He looks like such a good dude. The story is about how a man is punished by having to carry boulders over and over again, day after day. Oh, uh... Uh... Oh, I can't think of his name! Uh... Something Sisyphus? Oh, I can't think of it. Crap! No, this is just my humble opinion, but... Our company's autonomous machines are all very intelligent. Maybe once the logic core was upgraded, the grappler just couldn't stand such monotonous work. Monotonous work? Sisyphus, Jesus, criminy, it took me way too long. 
The man in the story and our grappler are doing some awesome muscle training every day. Yeah, bro. People with real ambition would never look down on such work. Muscles only grow after backbreaking training day after day. It's true. And it's only through the mundane that the soul can grow. Oh. Becoming hard as iron and as strong as steel. Well, I agreed with half of that. I'm not sure whether to feel awkward or to cheer him on. I'm not sure whether to feel awkward or cheer him on. Who am I kidding? Cheering is not my style. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That's Anton for you. Such speeches are how he motivates people at the start of each new project. Oh, I believe it. Let's be off. Our priority now is to retrieve the grappler so Grace can inspect it. Leave any obstacles in our path up to me. Okay, so... Multiple hostiles detected. Oh, damn. Ha! Perfect. Let's go, bro. Oh, he is already on the Don't fucking case. On oh, God. Mom's angry. Oh, we literally can't not push Anton into this. That's funny. So what is it? Colette is our stunner. Grace is our anomaly. And Anton's... An attacker? Can't seem to find out from here. Oh well. Oh wait, we're literally... Anton's just beating everybody up. Oh, this is funny. Can you? Oh, I can leave him behind. That's funny. Well, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how a real one does it. Just leave the rest to me. That's how a real one does it. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, it zoomed in a lot there. Why? Oh, shit. That's fine. I wanted to play as these characters anyway. Oh, it's him and his bro. Oh, looking right at the camera. So this is just like five-star Corrin, right? Oh, my God. God damn. Stay alert, folks. This one is pretty tough. Goes back. Is that a blender? Um, that thing was pretty wild. Can't stop me. No escape. <laughs> Stand still! Let me beat you into the foundations! Yeah! Ready? Have a taste! I'm here! <laughs> what is happening? I gotta look up how Anton actually works. I'm trying to figure out his combos. Many dilapidated structures and obstacles exist in this area. Proceed through this crack to continue searching for the target. You're small enough to easily squeeze through. Okay. Correction. Agent Ben Bigger will require considerable effort to pass through. Ben Bigger. There's no other way. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, we are absolutely... My bro is stuck. He can't make it through. Don't move, Anton. 
We'll see what we can do. Scouting new route. But <gasps> what about the ethereals along the way? No problem. Piece of cake. He's just gonna blast through him, isn't he? What does my bang boo do? Master, there is no point in staying here. Nothing there we go. Us. Hell yeah, buddy. Hell yeah, brother. Now, let's look for that grappler. Nope. Oh, Sabinia. It is likely our target. Where? Look. Oh. The grappler's up ahead. It is. But so is everything else under the sun. Don't worry. They're no match for me and my bro. This is hilarious. Oh, that does not sound like a happy grappler. More ethereals are surrounding us. Doesn't matter. They can't stop us. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's do the thing. Oh, we're going. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That music drop right there. What was that angle? What the fuck? My goodness, the mid-air flip. Rawr. Warning. High risk hostiles approaching. Oh, we need to awesome. Finally, a worthy champ. <laughs> oh shit, there he goes. What a hot-headed fool. Grace, you're really not one to talk. Wait, why are you so worked up too, Sweet Pea? Come, Sasuke here, man. Let us go. Yeah. Stand still. 
Oh, nail gun. It's super effective. That was an amazing fight. Lettuce and tomato. God damn, his angry stare and that bass drop. Woo. Oh, it's over there. I see you, buddy. Kaleida, we're going to need you. Oh, cutscene. I like how all of Bellabog has voice options. The sewers are finally here. I've been waiting. What the fuck? Huh? This guy's had a complete change of personality. His installed voice was nothing like this. Grappler, your smart core may have malfunctioned. Come back with us so we can fix you. Oh! Treat me like a child refusing their medicine. I'm a real bro, fearless and unchilling. Oh God, he has Anton's personality. Real bro. <gasps> you call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? Oh, look who's talking. The answer is simple then. Let's battle. One on one. <laughs> what is happening? A battle of real bros. <laughs> I'd better take things seriously. Don't underestimate me. Witness my power. Come on, try hard. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the earth! 
with hammer. Nope, oh, comic book style incoming. <laughs> An opening! An opening! <laughs> I did not do that. Is this dude really heavy machinery? He's so fast! He's trying to escape! <laughs> oh, I didn't see Grace. Where's she at? made quite the effort tracking me down, but I'm not going back with you. So give up now and admit defeat! I'm a real bro. And these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever. Oh, no. Wait, if it's just about your workload, we can work this out. Yeah, we can make you Monday through Thursday instead of Monday through Friday. If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereals. You mean we're not already at that point? Just come back with us, heavy duty grappler Hans. Heavy duty grappler Hans. Silence. Don't call me by that basic name. It's totally not my vibe! What is happening? A real bro should pick his own name! Powerful and bold, like a total beast! Oh, Jesus. Yes! From today on, I shall be known as... And then he just dies off camera. No, <laughs> please wait! <laughs> What's happening? Oh, what? Uh, ethereals! Yeah, we told you. Stop! me it looks like my brief existence has come to an end is this billy's voice actor just talking like anton and that's who this character is oh shit you just said you're a real bro oh no bro code intensifies is this how far your faith in yourself goes <gasps> you why are you helping me because we're bros bro <laughs> You have a great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. Who, who, who is this Kamina motherfucker? And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you, we haven't got a winner yet. Come on, bro. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, Anton, my brother. Oh no, my best of friend. <laughs> I have the biggest fucking smirk on my face. Oh my god, what is this episode? Wait, what's going on? What is this angle? How do you... Nope, nope, unsimp, unsimp. Put the signs up, put the signs up. Both of them, not just that one. This one's. This one also appeals to a certain audience. Put both signs up. It might be a little weird, but this kid should be fine. Yes, brother, I've made up my mind. I'll return with you and learn how to be a real bro. <laughs> Start by doing my day-to-day -day work! It's okay. We got this, bro. Bro. All right. <laughs> no. You haven't told me your new name yet. Not the bro fest. Wise. Just just stay quiet. Let him have the moment, man. Oh, that's so fucking perfect. Oh my god. That oh my god. I didn't think I used Grace that much. Holy shit. Oh, that was so funny. Alright. Next one. Mechanical love. Oh, we got Ben this time. Okay. I haven't used a uh, defense character yet. Recover the boring machine. Oh, God. So the grappler was based on Anton's personality. I wonder... Oh. This is it. This is where the signal came Everyone from. Everyone act natural. That child. In hollow boring machine Mark Three Greta. We need the proxy to lead the search. Grace, describe the boring machine. 
hardworking and capable. Oh no. Cute. <laughs> Just like Sweet Pea was when she was little. Oh, is she none of those things now? <sighs> Nobody has a clue what you're talking about. Okay, to put it in words the average human can understand, it's a machine <laughs> responsible for excavating tunnels. She's so broken. It's also equipped with a demolition saw used to tear down buildings. I thought the little thing would become more efficient after the update. I never thought she'd run off. Uh, Who even told you to do such an unnecessary update? It's more annoying than my laptop's constant updates. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, Windows 11, where are you at? <sighs> you never talked like this when you were a kid. And you used to be so cute when you were little. Um, but it's normal to go through a rebellious phase growing up, right? That's right. We have dealt with how many kids' rebellious phases? You Kong's kid. We got Koleda. We have me and Kafka. There's a whole lot of rebelliousness going on right now. Maybe the boring machine has just gotten a few rebellious ideas in its head. No, I won't allow it. Oh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ben's like, oh. I won't allow my cute children to become unruly, rebellious beasts. Uh... Midnight drag racing, deliberately scratching up their bodies, putting on massive stickers that are extremely difficult to clean, trying prohibited ether fuel mixtures, even imitating the old civilization cartoons, and trying to merge with other machines! Alright, so the rest of that I can understand. The last one, uh... You should not deny people their awesome mecha moment. <laughs> That may be interesting to watch. Such a detailed description. I'd like to see that, actually. <sighs> Don't push your buttons, Proxy. <laughs> Proxy, we have to find it quickly. I just hope it isn't too late. And they've become a delinquent. <laughs> Detecting heavy machinery signal. Beep Sinking boop. location data. Oh my god. The target signal is still active. It's is that a heart? Huh. What's it doing? What is happening? Let's go take a look. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 camera, camera, chill, chill, chill. Oh, oh, what was that? I mean, no simping, no simping, no simping. Oh? My God. Dude, Bellabog ain't nothing to fuck with. Holy shit. I like Colada's character. She's so cool. Grace the damage dealer? Actually, yeah, she would be because Kaleida's just a stunner, right? Just explode. Damn, dude. What is her attack range? Like, what the fuck? Hello? Ah, right. Take this. What? Uh, in hindsight, I should have packed more. Yeah, in hindsight, we're being chased, man. Ow? What just happened? Thank you. I did not know that's what was about to happen. Hmm, this is questionable. Oh, we are trap a moon dude. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh no, that Anton's definitely was way cooler than that. Construction Bang Boo, how you doing, buddy? Oh, you are slow as shit, and it's hilarious. My timing with that is so bad all of a sudden. Damn, your attack range is absolutely nuts. It's authorized personnel only! Just run! Oh, all three on camera? That's so fucking cool. I like that Ben and Kaleda have like combo attacks when they're in the same party. Oh, I didn't even see him off camera. God dang it. I mean, I can't wait. Where does that go to? Ah! Okay, yeah, I fucked that up. That's fair. Let's go. How should we approach it? Let's just go in. Scanning suitable at least bypass the current area. Oh. Shit, I kind of fucked myself here, didn't I? Thank I was hoping the guy would keep going. Oh. Proxy, is this really a good path to take? Yes. Sorry, we had no other choice. We're going, we're going, don't you worry. We can't get through now, right? Nope. Phew, we're safe. For now. Now then, how do we get out of here? Well, I'm sure someone will just open a doorway here in a second. Idea. I'm so scared. What's that? Uh, everybody, cover your ears and stand aside. Uh, ma'am, you just hit us. Oh well, I guess we're getting out of here though. Hello. Calm down, everything's fine. Besides, look. Aren't we right by our target? We are. <laughs> Just don't be so reckless next time. Oh, sweet pea. Oh no, she's copying Grace. I hear a girl's voice. I mean, you're with two women. Oh. Of days, and yet our child has become a fabulous young lady. <laughs> oh no, just take it easy now, Grace. <laughs> but who's Mr. White? Uh, another machine? Yeah, who's Mr. White? It's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White. Oh no, I've made up my mind. I'm staying here with Mr. White. 
Our robot is in love. Oh my god. Attracted some ethereals. I'm so not used to that. Like, I think everyone in my team is a fucking defense assist. You dare jump on Mr. White? Get your filthy hands off of him! Get away! You filth! Stop being so rude! Or oh I'll... no. I told you not to touch him! You moldy turds just don't understand! Oh, she's gonna kill Mr. White. She's like a different person! <laughs> Just unbelievable! Is this the power of a girl in love? What kind of love power allows the use of an ether electric hybrid 1400 kilogram demolition saw? I'm with Kalito on this one. Oh, yeah, Mr. White's dead. Wait, Miss Boring Machine! That way is. Oh, <gasps> she broke Mr. White's ankles! Oh my god. Mr. White! Hang in there, Mr. White! Uh, you know, I don't. I think Mr. White's gonna have to go to the happy farm. The impact just now, it cut through the load bearing wall. I killed Mr. White! <laughs> it's all my fault! <laughs> Oh, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Grace, I don't know about this one. Huh? Now, wait just a minute, Grace. Think about what you're saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Ben right now. Oh, no. Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell. <laughs> she knows nothing about love. <laughs> Lift up your head and look around. She's Mr. White single as room. hell. Oh, relatable. Uh, yeah, just nope. <laughs> I can't make that joke. My humor's too dark for the internet. I can't do it. Every building can only give one hug in its lifetime. Oh. He gave his to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. Oh no. 
Oh, that puts the Elden Ring maidenless jokes to shame. Oh, that's so beautiful. What a gentle building. You have good taste. <laughs> gonna say, yeah, shame is dead. But <laughs> oh. Don't be discouraged. We won't let you say goodbye to him just like that. Here, come back with us. Oh, God. Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new land. Oh, boyfriend broke. Let's build a new one. Oh, my God. I'm going back with you. Oh, God. I have such, such different opinions of Bellabog now. Oh, man. It's so funny. That was so funny. Dude, I don't know what it was like. My ability, my timing with dodges and parries and that was so bad that time around. Oh, my God. I have a very different opinion of Grace, mostly. Uh, yeah, you, you can't fix that. You gotta walk away. Hey, bro. Welcome back. No, please. No more, bro. Bellabog just contacted us. They said they're gonna send the first two machines to get serviced, then text us once Ben has the rough location of the pile driver. Oh. Sounds like it shouldn't take them too long to find the pile driver, but it's gonna be a minute. You should find something to do to pass the time, Wise. I'm gonna go to bed. I not after all that. Today's been quite a long day, Wise. Go rest now. There's more work waiting for you tomorrow. Oh God, that was so funny. Do we have any more stories? Soldier 11. Oh, that's the only one we have, okay. Faith in story, what is this like? Is that a shotgun that Wise has? Oh. God damn, that was funny. What, what is this? Hey! <gasps> oh, that's something we should do. We haven't, we haven't done some, some, uh, some, uh, line the camera up. Jesus Christ, we haven't, uh, done some, what, brain? We haven't done some ZZZ gotcha in quite a while. So maybe we should do that. Internet level, give me that. Anything else? Nope. Okay, let's, let's do some gotcha, people. We'll do one for the road. Uh, one day, one day, two days, two days, two days, and uh, Miss Jane Doe comes out. Can't wait. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, I've saved up a bit for. Her. We'll see how it goes. Um, what is this one? Oh, we're guaranteed an A rank. Let's do it. Oh, god damn! I need Grace to come home though, cause I have her W engine. Uh, ooh, two A's. Not bad. Who do we get? A Sokaku engine wouldn't be bad either. I wouldn't mind that. Where the fuck are all the A's? I know it said I got two. Hello? <laughs> Welcome. Oh shit! I got Nicole! I wasn't expecting that. It's a shame I'm never gonna use you. What's this? I didn't know the camera did this on characters. Interesting. Who's the last one then? Starlight Engine. We have a lot of that one. My goodness, I wasn't expecting that at all. Hell yeah, brother. Do I have enough for another one? Yeah, we'll save that for another time though. Uh, that's all for this one, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. The Chapter 2 Bellabog Industries that I've been waiting for has not disappointed. That was by far one of the best moments I've had playing this game in a while. That was a lot of fun. I cannot wait for the next one. It's going to be good. Uh, very interested to see what this uh, past history, this scandal that Bellabog had. Uh, very, very interested in that. Uh, it, nope, I can tell. I can tell I'm about to start rambling. I'm going to stop myself ahead of time. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Uh, tune in next time. Uh, the next time I play will... Actually, no, this video will probably come out way after that. 
Um, but the next video you see will probably be me getting Jane Doe. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Adios. Have fun, all. Why did I say it like that?